today we're looking at um, the cutting of rabbit nails. All bunnies have nails, you've found that as a rabbit owner. But we have different colour nails. Here we have a red-eyed white who has white nails. And you can easily see the wick as it comes up the nail, which in, that's the same as us. And then the white part at the end, which is the part that we trim. It does all the damage to bunny owners. If you look over here at Kelly's bunny, it has horn coloured, that's what we call dark nails. You can once again see up to this point here where my scissors are is pink underneath the nail and then the rest is long. And that's the part that we trim. You never trim down close to that pink wick because that actually will hurt the bunny and will cause some bleeding. Do not panic if it bleeds. Talcum powder, baking powder, any kind of powder quickly put on to the end of the nail will absorb the blood and um, certainly help it to dry up very quickly and the bunny will take care of any, anything else. However, the point of this is not doing it in the first place. So if you come close, and I will show, this one, for instance, is quite long, and I am going to get these nail clippers. Can you see that? These nail clippers are readily available here at the, at the sanctuary and at other places, and I'm just going to cut the end, but not too close to the pink wick. So we're going to cut once again, cut the end, but not too close to the pink wick. These nails should be done every three weeks. You should check them each week in case Bunny's done something to themselves and they need some care. Because bunnies will do things like we do. See the bunny um, just gave a little shake then? That meant that it felt that I was getting too close to the wick. All right. So very, that it can be very quickly done just by one person. Once you train your bunny to assume the position, which is upside down, and almost seated. You've got the bunny braced on the table. so he's And against support. me. It's feeling safe because, see how I've braced it against my body? And I've also got it close to me. It feels like it's being embraced. So only the, the bottom is there for support. Now, no? Come on, darling. <laughs> We've lost our scissors. We've lost our scissors. It's, we're just going to go get them now. It happens all the time. So a lot of people struggle, Susan, with holding their bunny. Could you put him on the table and just show us how you get him into that special secure hole? Now, underneath just near the front legs and then on the bottom and then cup the bottom see where my fingers are and then hold them close to your body and there you are now when you need to do the nail clipping because if you're all by yourself and you haven't got someone who'll come over and do the clipping for you while you hold your bunny then just very quietly on the table like this and then you can start clipping your nails. If you do it regularly like every three weeks then they won't grow too long, and won't I, cause any bunny damage would get, bunny would get used to and you. the bunny gets very used to it happening. Mm. I would really strongly support people picking their bunny up and just cuddling it like this each day so it gets used to this because if they're used to it, they feel happy and they feel like you're not going to do them any harm. And when a vet has to palpitate the stomach like this, then the bunny won't kick the vet. Also, when the vet has to check teeth, see, bunnies, bunnies object to it, but they check teeth and they check nails 
and whatever else they have to do, some of it has to be done this way. Okay? Thank you, Susan. Very informative information about how to trim your bunny's nails. Thank okay. you too, Let's, Kevin. Let me just...